everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. We'll start this video off talking about Louise and then I'm going to move on to a more serious topic. So you might want to stick around because I don't usually get too serious. So I will be a little bit here. Um, my brother called to tell me that he had put Louise in with the other hens last night when it was dark. And when they woke up this morning, they were doing real well together. In fact, he said she is the top hen. She's bossing the other ones around. And that's Louise. Louise was a top hen here. I think that's why the rooster didn't like her, because she was top hen. And she wasn't going to take second she place. She was button heads, button yeah. Heads by then. So that's where Louise is. Louise is doing really great. And the other hens are loving the the pine pellets, pellets and the wood chips. wood chips. Yeah, thank you. I couldn't think what the <laughs> heck are they called. They've been playing in them a lot today. And Jim and I, we um, emptied the trailer because the trailer had a lot of wood chips in it. And he spread a lot more all over the area where the, where the chickens are so that I won't have to worry about any mud. And he put a little more wood chips inside. So I've got it made really nice in there now. And as far as the little hen that's broody, Silver Fox, she's still broody. This morning when I opened the nesting box to look in, there was Brownie trying to sit in the same spot that Silver Fox is. It's like, you need to go in your own box. I don't know why they want to lay their eggs in that one. And I can't put the, the ceramic eggs in because then they get confused and think that those are the ones they're going to hatch and I don't want them to do that. I need them to sit on the eggs that are supposed to hatch and let's hope they hatch. They're bantam eggs that they're sitting on and the bantam eggs have an extremely hard shell. So if those little chicks make it out of those eggs, they usually are pretty hardy. So that's what that is. And then I was watching Bob's live stream, Bob Mountain Crest Farms, and he asked a question, but I had to ask Jim, and then by the time I, I found it, I think it got lost in the scrolling of the comments. And what it was is he wanted to know what the green stuff is around my chicken run. And it's it's um, from Premier. I wrote it down. It's, Premier, it's one. Premier One. And it's Ultra Screen is what it is. When we were looking for this, we actually found it in the section where they had the goats where is where we found it but it can be used for any animal and it can be they, used they used it on the outside of their barn to keep, to it, from, keep it from from being open but yet not because when you're tight. inside you can look out and it works great if you have a uh, say you have a screened or a, have a a carport and you want to make a little privacy you could put some of this on that even and it would keep the wind from hitting you because it, it blocks about 90% of the wind. There's a little bit of wind that comes through. And it um, makes it so that those inside can see out real good, but those outside can't see in very well. And that was um, what um, he asked, and that's the answer to that question. It was Premier One Ultra Screen is what the stuff is called. Now... The serious stuff. This is so sad, but it's serious. <laughs> and it, you, yeah. you chuckle, <laughs> but it's not chuckly. No, it's we not. had a computer glitch today, and the computer glitch is going to cost us a lot of money. We were we were um, booking a booking, hotel. booking a hotel to go to the um, bike. I don't know what it's called. It's on that paper. It's something with the bike. It's in, it's in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Um, it's a, a Midwest moto meetup for the moto vloggers. It's a meetup. And it's going to be September 11th through the 13th in Louisville, Kentucky at the Bluegrass Harley Davidson. Well, we booked our room and when he looked, when Jim looked at what was being booked, it showed that it was going to cost us, because we're going to go an extra night and stay an extra night, 
so it would be like $400. And when he scrolled down to look at the itinerary, what they're actually charging us was like for three rooms. We didn't book three rooms. We only booked one room. And because it was a no refund, it, you get a little discount. And he did the, the no, refund no refund kind of room. So he called right away. Right away he called. But because the manager isn't in until Tuesday, we have to wait until Tuesday to talk to the manager. And the sad part is when you book these rooms, they take your money like right then. Because we called the credit card people to see if they could maybe stop payment so that it would not go through and we would have to rebook our one room that we wanted. But it, they had already taken the money. So now we have to wait until Tuesday, see if the hotel will refund the two rooms that we don't need. And if they don't, then we can call the credit card company back and they will do dispute, uh, dispute the, the charges. charges because we aren't supposed to be charged for three rooms, only one room. And I thought, you know, this will be bad if it doesn't get refunded. So if anybody's going to that motor thing and you want a cheap room, <laughs> you can contact me. I have an email, but do it after Tuesday if you're going to do it so that we can find out whether they're going to give us our money back. I'll let you know in Tuesday's video. Or, so, yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday night, I'll let them know. Yeah, I'll let I'll them know. know. You'll know by Tuesday night because I will do the video that night after he's had a chance to try to contact the manager of that hotel. Let's hope they speak English. <laughs> we, You never know. But um, that was the thing that we did. Then, of course, he brought in yesterday's mail. And this is another easy thing that happened. Well, when we when he did Emily's taxes, she was getting a little refund back and she was paying a lot. And I says, well, have the pay a lot come out of her savings and the little refund go into her checking. Well, <laughs> the, ba the state or the federal, whoever, they took it all out of the checking, which she doesn't have the money in the checking. So now she has to pay a $35 charge for them to have covered her her fee that she, they were paying taking out so we today had to try to transfer money in and it wasn't going to let us then finally Jim figured it out and got it to where we were able to put money in there because I told her she could use that account when she goes to get her car inspected because they're going to do an oil change the car inspection is free but the oil change is going to cost her, and it's going to be about 50 some dollars with the filters and the oil. They'll, they'll be charging her, and I told her she could use her checking for that. But her checking didn't have any money in it because of the state and federal tax mix-up. So today was just not the best of days. It was a headache day. So, I don't know. But I guess that's it. Okay, there was no fun in this video. No fun at all. But it should be better by Tuesday night. I Hopefully. hope. If not, let me know if you need a room. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, and we'll, we'll put your name on that room. Or I'll have to stay in three different rooms. Oh, this will be terrible. That's a, a, a expensive, expensive expense. Yeah. Or I'll find some homeless person that needs a room, maybe, but they better not destroy anything or steal anything because then they'll charge me. Oh, God, grief. Well, anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you all had a better day than I had. And tomorrow is a new day. So we'll... It was at least sunny. And it was, oh, yeah, the weather was degrees. great. The weather was great. We were outside, and it was great. That part was wonderful. <laughs> Gotta look for the but bright it was, side. But it was a little gloomy on the inside. Yeah. But the <laughs> so, outside was good. Yes, the outside was good. And we heard motorcycles going by, but we didn't go for a ride. Too much commotion in our ocean. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.